Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to use MyNomo.com. It's going to, it's actually called like a graphic organizer, which basically means that it's going to organize your research. And so on this graphic organizer, you're going to have your essential question, you're going to have your subtopics, you're going to have your websites or your resources that you're using. And then instead of note cards, we're going to be putting the information that you get from those resources onto the um, onto the graphic organizer. So let's get started. You can hit login, and most of you should use this uh, Gmail uh, login. Uh, the account has already been created for you using um, your ISD728.org account. That's a freebie. Um, I have a little bit, bit different way that I log in just because I didn't have that account when I first started. So I have to type this in. Those of you who are wondering about typing, I'm not a very fast typer. All right, so you hit login, and what you'll notice right away is there's a couple of uh, maps on here. This is the one I'm going to show you later. Uh, this was one that I created. Uh, yesterday and then today I'm going to show you how to one you can how to do one you can create up to three free ones um, with this assignment or with this uh, sign in and this this account uh, you don't need any more than that you only need one actually so hit create now if you type in your essential question which I'm just going to type in essential question this is what's going to show up inside of your box or your circle. Now, you can do a lot of different things with it. You can change fonts, you can change themes, uh, the layout, all that stuff, but typically what you should do is kind of just start with the, the, the basic. So if you ever want to type inside of here, you can always type in there, put a question mark in, whatever the case may be. Uh, if you want to change the colors, you know, you can change to uh, a different color you can do lots of different things it just kind of depends on your mood and and all that other stuff so do what you got to do now <clears throat> there's the essential question so how do you create a map well notice that it's highlighted in blue and you're going to hit this topic button and you're going to hit subtopic so what's going to happen is something's going to come off of it now you know, it says main topic, but for our purposes, it's going to be a subtopic. And so what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to move this to any place that you want to do. If you want to create another subtopic, make sure that you click back onto this box, hit a subtopic, and another one gets created. And so I'll click on sub. And again, you can move those to whatever direction you want. And again, these subtopics are just, you know, variations or, or part of what you're going to be uh, discussing, all right? All right, so now the subtopic is highlighted, and you're going to go back up here. Oh, I made a mistake. Now, if you make a mistake, you can go over here to undo. And one of the cool things about this thing is that it is auto-saved, and so you don't have to he keep hitting save all the time. But anytime you want to do something back or forward, you know, creating things, you can do it that way. All right, now, if you highlight subtopic, go up to topic, hit subtopic once again. Now, these are going to be your resources or your websites that you have found your information from. All right? And, you know, it could be a book, it could be anything. But remember, true research means that you are finding more than one resource that supports your your evidence or your research so you know you need to have at least two of them on here maybe this is a book that you found whatever the case may be all right and you're gonna need to do that now you know two is required but you know it some have seven some have eight I've had kids that have as had as many as seven or eight resources for every subtopic all right, so now click on the website one, go back to topic, and you're going to hit the subtopic one, and notice that something comes off of that. Um, you know, and so what you're going to do here is, is you're going to put your information in here. It might be a 
some information. It might be a fact. It might be a statistic. Whatever the case may be. But remember, you can, you need to put, you know, information in here. And I'm going to need you to have at least 50 pieces of information within this graphic organizer to do the type of job that I think you need in order to put together a 10 to 12 minute presentation. All right. So you're kind of getting the gist of how this is working. Now, if you wanted to change some of the layout things, you could do an organizational chart where it goes like that and you can switch things up. You know, just it just kind of depends on, you know, your project and, and your and your mood. All right. And like the theme I told you about, you can change fonts, you can do lots of different things to be able to do that. All right. Now, like I said, this is auto saved. So if I go over here to file and I want to go into the map that I already created for you uh, on diabetes, I just click on that and you can see that it's a little bit more extensive. If you want to make the map smaller or bigger, you just got to go down here on this plus sign or minus sign and you can make it a little bit bigger. And you can see, you know, some of these I don't need any longer, you know, so I'm going to go over here to edit and I'm going to hit delete because they don't have anything on here. But like you can see that on stress effect, I have this website hitting here, but I have to create, you know, some information pieces and I have two pieces of information here. So maybe this is number three and maybe this is some type of uh, statistic like stress effects everyone differently. All right, so that was one of the pieces of information you got. And again, oops. That one's going to be that's going to be for that one. Come over here, create a subtopic, and again, you need to be able to insert the subtopic information. Whatever that may be. Maybe this time it's a fact. All right? And you need to do that for every single one of them. You can't have a subtopic without having at least two websites or resources. And you have to have information off of every single website and resource. And sometimes it's just going to be same information. But you need to have 50 pieces of information. All right? All right, now when you get all finished with it and you have it looking really good and you, and you know exactly what you want to do, you got to get it centered in your page here. And then you're going to go over here to file, and you're going to go, uh, s let's see, save, or oh, excuse me, export as an image, and it, and it should be a JPEG, JPG. You're going to hit that one, and it's going to be, it's going to ask you where you want it to go, or what, 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 situ what, what you want to call it, and... I'm going to call it what are the physical effects of diabetes and it's going to send it to my desktop. You could have it sent to, to your uh, documents folder. You could have it to a certain folder that you have. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to put it to my desktop. And then if I hit save, it's going to save it automatically down there for it. And then I'm going to be able to finish it and be done. And then I can go back into my desktop and create it and, and, and you'll have to upload it to a site which I'll show you in a, show you later. Uh, hopefully this makes sense. It's kind of fun to play around with. It's a really good way to organize your thoughts um, and organize your research. And again, this is serving as your bibliography because it has all of your uh, websites and resources on it. It has your information. And again, it needs to have 50 pieces of information. And it just kind of summarizes kind of all of your research that you have done. Thank you.